Hey everybody, this is your host, Majin. Um, and we are playing our mellow today on board game night. Mwahaha. Um, as for usual, I am joined by Avak. Hello, everyone. Shin Rear. Hello. In the rear. Uh, and Marbazir. Hi, everyone. Random side jokes of all. Anyways, we are playing our mellow this week, which is a semi board game ish setup for a uh, wonderful game. We're going to be playing multiplayer. This is not cooperative. It is quite cutthroat. Basically, Imagine lied to us and tricked us into playing this. Last week, we were all like, let's find a board game. He was like, this is a board game. It's really easy to learn as well. Yeah, this game is really simple. Yeah, uh, no, and, and, and then we all bought it, and, and we were like, this doesn't look like a board game. And he's like, no, 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 trust me. <laughs> Believe me, I wouldn't lie to you guys, would I? And then he was a filthy liar. Actually, to be fair, this is like the simplest most confusing game I ever played. Yes. It's both simple yep. and confusing both at the same time. Yep. Yep. We have to select the hero. And since I've only yes, really played one in our test, up. I'm going to be boring. I'm going to play her again. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to give the bear a little bit more love. Again? Okay. <laughs> Shenrir, <laughs> we've got two rabbits, basically. Okay. A little the, oh, rabbit oh, dwarf. Oh, he's got the bouncy one again. <laughs> yeah, I'm <obviously. laughs> playing the same character I played before. Oh, basically. my lord. Now, I've only really got one unlock. For Do you unlock more things as you play the game and achieve yeah. like victories and stuff? Yep. So, uh, yeah, you do. So as you play the game um, by different faction, so if you play the rabbits a lot, then you'll get the rabbit unlocks. Then you have to play the wolf on a lot to get like 10 games or something to get most of the unlocks. Um, and yeah, you get new things like uh, guaranteed first symbol match on perils, stuff like that. Um, and then the individual faction stuff. But we're on a timer, so we can't stay on that screen for very long. No. Yeah. Yep. So what's what's the basic idea? What's happening right now? Okay. The basic idea is that um, we are heroes, or not. We could be evil, actually. Um, generally, are. I'm um, not evil. You scallywag. Take that back. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, this is a simple setup where we've basically got 10 days, quote unquote, nine or 10 days, um, to, oh, I get to go first? Yeah. And also, happened. the map is randomly generated. Yes. Right? Yes. The map is entirely <laughs> randomly generated, uh, which is why it's like a card game or a board game. Um, and that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. Yeah. Most board games <laughs> have a static board. Yeah. Some of them Unless are random now. Right? It's my turn. Some Just are... for, for, for a very, very quick overview. Our goal is to kill the king, who is corrupt. He gets more powerful, but also less alive every turn. Effectively, so we loses, have ten turns to win hit it. Points. Yeah. He starts with, what, nine hit points? And he loses uh, one hit point every every dawn? Oh, yeah. And no, every no, night, he gains one, what's rot. it called? Rot. Which is right. like a, a kind of a, an evil power. You can also gain that, but none of us start with it. It has various effects. There's a day and night cycle to the game. Each turn is one full day, one full night. And then it goes back around to the king and he loses power and gains more power and things like that. You have random cards, all sorts of different things. And I've really got to do something. So let's <laughs> go out there here. are actually several victory conditions. You yes. can win by yes, killing yeah. the king, but you can also win by Ooh. cleansing him. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I got a stone already. Nice. Yeah, that's actually yeah. pretty There's good. four victory that's conditions. That's just cheating. That is not <laughs> cheating. Shut <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> Um, one like what he did, if you collect four of those spirit stones, like you just got one of them, um, then you can go into the palace and, and cleanse the king. You don't have to beat him up or anything. Um, you can just go in and kick his ass. Um, and if you lose, he gets hit points. Um, and uh, you get booted. Um, you can go rotten and try and out evil the king. Um, and then you still have to kill him, but you're just more evil than he is. And you take over, or you can get the prices right losing horn and win by prestige. <laughs> the prices right losing horn. Ah, uh, you guys remember I dull off that, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, what was that? I think I actually did a patch recently because I just saw a reconnecting thing. Oh, I oh. hope that's true because uh -oh. oh, 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 yeah, I see it. What's Not happening? <laughs> Not a bad. Not a good start. Oh, all right. So I'm Shen's to moving around. It's fine here. Let's see, if, let's see what yes. happens. Ooh. On maps, uh, for the stuff that we have, uh, there's these black flags, and you can always check to see what the person's doing. Um, 
So these things are perils. Either you uh, beat them and you're good, or you lose and you get whatever happens to you. So this one will make um, Mr. Rabbit Boy rotten Mine and still healthy. Oh, oh, unfortunately. Fail. That was a hard one. You need a rot dice there. Basically, what I did is I clicked on the button above, and I could actually watch that playing out. Yep. Which was quite cool. So I lost two hit points for that, but it really didn't end of the world. And you also got a rot. Yeah, maybe no, he's, maybe he's going for. Oh, no, you did. Uh, I think rot. it was rot, rot only if he killed the creature, I believe. We can have yeah, a look at all of the different rot. characters. He's on zero. Ah, okay. By going through this, you can see every other player in the game. This is a four-player game. You can have AIs. But, generally speaking, it's going to be four players, because that's the most fun. It's a competitive game, and what's the point of competing against an AI who can't probably appreciate your cunning plays and mockery? Okay, it's I've got a fun. question for you. I've got a card that says Expendables, negative one to peril difficulty, cost one gold. How do you apply yeah. it to a peril? Do you do it before you go into it, or when you're in it? Uh, before. Okay. So you take the card, and you drag it onto the map of the yeah. peril. Like where the peril is, and you drop it. Okay. And you like them. Also, so the interesting part about this game is that you can actually use some abilities and cards during your enemy's turn. Yes. Some cards yep. can be used not on your turn, which is really interesting. I've got a particularly interesting card that yeah, I'm just like waiting that. for an opportunity to use it on someone. Just like not I on did. me. There. Thanks. <laughs> oh, are you sure you don't want to borrow my awesome card? Ooh, what did oh, you just get there? You a follower. You got a follower. Oh, that's the first time we've ever mm -hmm. seen that. Nice. You've equipped the blacksmith. In battle. Just that awesome. Plus one sword yep, and shield to each sword shield item equipped. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's, that's awesome. That's nice. That was really good. That, yeah. keep, in mind, keep in mind, it does have to be a sword and shield type yeah. uh, item. It can't be some of like the some of the specialty weapons. Don't count for that. Now, these are okay, bangs. So it They're... is nighttime. Yes. Nighttime, bad things happen. Uh, but if you're um, in the daytime, you get gold based on uh, how many settlements you have. Mm -hmm. uh, at the night, you actually get your mana um, and your magic. And you will get that based on uh, what your spirit level is. Ah, right. And of okay. course, there's quests and stuff like that. But most importantly, um, here's one of my quests. I'm playing, since I'm playing the bear. Um, I get to... Uh, oh, you just cast a spell, yeah. Yep. I immolated the uh, evil Bane. Oh, you get to watch the battle now. Combat. Now, you'll gain prestige from killing this, won't you? Yes, I will. Uh, and I immolated it first because my character is really, really horrible at fighting, but has so much magic that... Uh, wow, look at that roll. Holy spells. Wow. wow. Yeah. Tree, that tree, was tree. amazing. That's just cheating. <laughs> it <Yeah>. is. <laughs> That's what happens, though. Um, when you fight or do perils or whatever, um, you roll the dice, and there is a different... Uh, each of the dice do something different. Um, so the standard is that uh, a sword is counts as an attack, the shield counts as defense, and again, I get more money. Like, seriously. Last time we played, all I got was money out of these things. And mm -hmm. apparently, again, it's the same. <laughs> That's fine, though. Uh, but anyways, um, so there's those two are basic, but it's six-sided die. So there's a sun and a moon um, on the dice. And if it's daytime, the sun counts as an attack. If it's nighttime, the moon counts as an attack. Yeah. But nothing Quickly, otherwise. before my turn is over, I'm just going to cover that at the start of each turn... Um, like round you get to fill your hand up to your wits level with cards so for example yep. i was able to pick up another card because i i had three cards but i had a wit of four now i and was in the woods and it was night so i was actually stealthed yes so we can't see where he is except we sort of know where he is yeah because i'm moving outside of the woods so yeah, but even if you stayed in the woods, we knew where you were. Yeah, uh, but it, that still has a mechanic associated to it. Uh, if we ended up fighting, uh, mm -hmm. then him being stealthy would mean he ambushed the person trying to attack Yay. him. And the person trying to attack him would not be able to use their cards. Uh-oh, reconnecting. Oh, it's gone. Oof, careful there. Yes, yeah, so we're all very, very cautious about MP that. Code. Yeah, they picked up the MP code. 
Nice. Uh, just to point out that before this point, when we tried it, um, if you get dropped from a multiplayer match, you can't get back in. Yeah. So Pretty rubbish, very... honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, Don't that's... drop. <laughs> yeah, it seems a little dangerous, so it looks like they fixed up some of the uh, code. All right, so these little orange tile, or not orange tile, purple tiles, there's like exploration, right? Yeah, dungeons. And that's a marsh. So thank you for showing that marshes hurt you. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could kill myself here. You gave everyone a demonstration. All right, I want to see if I kill myself. I got a 40% chance of not killing myself. This sounds okay. fun. Oh, good. Um, so he's doing a quest. Everybody has their own individual quest line. There's about four. Yeah. In nice. total. And the very last step, if you get it, if you finish it, is to go uh, into the palace for free. Um, because if if you may notice, there is perils all around the palace, and they are very, very strong. Um, yes. So you can't just walk in at any point. Um, so if you do the quest line, you can skip that. So if you have a really low wit or a really low um, spirit, then you're not likely to be able to beat the uh, peril. So it's either better to let somebody else break it and then you sneak in, um, yep. or just finish your quest line. And then you'll get a free run in. Now, currently, the palace guards are neutral to us, but there are certain yes. things that can happen that will cause them to be aggressive. One of the things comes as prestige. Now, we haven't really covered this, but the first person to reach the highest level of prestige that anyone has in the game, I think that's actually me at the moment. I believe I'm the prestige leader. You are, hit yes. Tap. Yep, if you hit tab, you find it. That when day comes around i'm going to be able to basically have the king decree something there'll be a couple of cards and i can choose one of them oh what just happened then the king tangle used vine. tangle vine on marbo's ear uh he failed in a parallel i think yeah i failed oh, yeah. Yeah. okay so here's your quest so um, basically the prestige leader gets to screw with people every day yeah so tell yes. us what the, tell us what the options are Ah, no, I'm not going to tell you what the options are. Oh, I want to hear. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you, don't get, well, you don't get to see them. I want to know. Actually, he's the only one who gets to know, unless he chooses to tell us. I like the king has said right. that I can do whatever I want and win, or I can be fair and not do that to everyone. So, I've chosen to be fair. Ah. Oh, wow. So, all of the normal perils perils are increasing their difficulties yes you see they gained uh -huh. a they gained crossbones under the skull on the on the flag yeah well, that's actually quite cool I, I wasn't paying attention to that. that's pretty awesome <laughs> um, and again for the three cards there are three different types of cards you can get uh, there's item cards which are usually weapons but they can be other things that you can spend gold for mm -hmm. uh, spell cards which is all about your magic um, and then there's trickery cards which are mostly perils and things to mess with other players. Um, but... Ooh, I did get one. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, Seems but sometimes one of the they're actually, woken up. Uh, but sometimes they're actually really nice things um, that can help both players. Damn you and all yeah. of your settlements. He's got two settlements already. Yep. Well, I may have that's to take... Like uh, that. Go Ooh. for the peril. Go for the peril. I have to, because that's my question. You just place case. the nice. bounty on me. Oh, okay. You jerk. Let's watch. You enormous jerk. This would be good. Uh, right. I've got three cards versus three. So, yeah. I hope this matches. Good luck with that. <laughs> I got one. Well, I got, I got the rot. <laughs> so, it that one stole two gold for me and gave it to the first girl. Well, it didn't go to me. Okay, so now for my quest. When to me? Um, ah, nice. Wow. Okay, so the quest line is you can either completely ignore it um, and just get your stat increase and prestige increase uh, without a test, or you can use the actual thing and try and get the bonus thing. Yeah. So the challenge. Um, I have a 50 50 shot, and I got it. Nice. Well done. So what did you get for it? I got an apprentice. Oh, oh wow! Nice. Everyone's getting awesome things. Everyone's getting followers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, now that Sana one, uh, is prestige leader because they've reached two first. Unless someone takes prestige of three, that's it. They can't. They can't beat that. Oh yeah, and then of course when it's not your turn, you can take a 
look at your next. Step. Now, going through this swamp is going to be minus one health. Mm -hmm. But you can still kill me. As it's my oh, your quest, quest, I have to go there. I thought you were going to kill me. Uh, really <laughs> you have so little faith in me. I have so um, many pieces. He's still again. Now, I can either go for the 50-50 chance, I either get a spirit stone or minus two health, or I can just say no. And yeah. since I don't particularly care for the spirit stone, I'm going to go you for You don't care for the have... spirit stone? You no. already have one. I already have one. I don't need the second. In the yeah, and then there's another one up in the corner. <laughs> now... <laughs> As Shen was saying, I could just charge in there and kill him. That would be so mean. And that sounds like a mighty fine yeah. idea, honestly, because hey. I get an in initial <laughs> attack anyway. You jerk. <laughs> yeah, so the character of us playing um, does one point of damage because she's got the bow um, before actual fight begins. Also, for anyone watching, it's technically possible for both players to kill each other. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's, not it's not technically possible. It is likely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, even if you die first, you uh, still get to execute your turn, even though you're yeah. technically dead. Well, I'm dead. That happened. Yep. And Vox <laughs> is smart enough to burn just enough cards <laughs> for defense. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Sneak now out. I've become prestige leader because I killed another player, thus gaining yep. an extra prestige on top of my quest, so I'm mm. back to being prestige leader. Yep. Um, so also, neat. if you... You tasted delicious, uh, by the way. Mm. You took yeah, my Bunny for too. lunch. Yeah. I'm a if wolf. What win, do you expect? Yeah, if you fight and win, you get a prestige. If you lose, you lose a prestige as well. So Shenrir actually went back down to zero. Ah. What Sad happens day. when a wolf fights a rabbit? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, you're, gets... you're a rabbit too. <laughs> yeah, I am. That's what I'm saying. Oh, goodness. That's so not fair. Marbazir is being clever though. He's hiding in the woods like a good rabbit should. Not in a town. <laughs> yep. His Ooh. character's yep. bouncing so much. Is it? I is might, it I might not have some tricks up my She team. is actually bouncing yep. an awful lot, yes. Yeah, it's a, a rather caffeinated rabbit. <laughs> caffeinated rabbit. Yeah, actually. <laughs> pretty much. Complete with the Umbrella of Doom. Um, so yeah, each of the different characters has a different style um, and different benefits and drawbacks. Yeah. So the two rabbit ones tend not to be... I mean, they tend to be great for fighting, um, but only if they manage to get stuff. Like uh, Barnaby there, Shinner's character, he really needs... Oh, reconnecting another one. Reconnecting again. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Someone's reconnecting. Player two. Human three, so. Yeah, me. That's me. And okay. uh, reconnecting. Okay, we're all back. Um, anyways, his character is his special ability is the fact that once he has equipment, he can switch it out for other equipment and not lose the equipment card. So if you start getting things like, you know, an equipment card that gives you plus two dice or plus two whatever uh, when you're defending, and then there's other ones that are plus when you're attacking, um, you can actually. Uh, hey, those that's not fair. Ending. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> Why would you do that? One rabbit. There can be only one. <laughs> yes. Why would you uh, do that to your family? <laughs> You're not my family. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Why did you not get well, the settlement? This will be interesting. Uh, you didn't want the settlement? He wants his quest. No, but yeah, this wants my quest. Settlement? Yeah, but you, you hmm. have... Oh, that's right, because I knocked his action points down by one. Ah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, this is going to be you glorious did, you on my turn. You rabbit. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm a wolf. What do you expect? Well, I know this who is to focus to kill this. running this up game. to me right now. Oh, haha, <gasps> throwing axe at you. Nice. Yep. Naughty man. <laughs> yeah, so there's item cards that you can do damage even if you're not in battle. Well, that's about all I can do. All right, yep. so it's now nighttime. Take that, hey, you little hey, scallywag. Ooh. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so mean. Up to four prestige now, my goodness. Right Why would you do that to a cute little rabbit? That's totally harmless. Om nom 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 nom. second time nom. he's done this. You should yes. expect it by now. I know. <laughs> I'm playing to my character's strength, damn it. My character's strength is eating rabbits. <laughs> yes, that's the string. All right, we need the bear to eat the so wolf. So you're saying this game is rigged. We need the bear to eat the wolf. No, 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 no. We need the bear to stay uh -huh. over there and to yep. keep getting Again. Danes instead. 
Oh, another Bane. Is this happening another again? Is this happening again? So last week we played two two trial games, and the second game was just every time Madgen went anywhere, he activated a Bane. Every yeah. time. <laughs> every single <Very> time. <laughs> it's his special hidden ability. Now, I just threw a card down to increase my spirit, because my bear's special thing um, is the fact that... Uh, you get dice based on your spirit, not yeah. on your fighting ability. Only when fighting. fighting a corrupted creature. Corrupted, though. right. Yeah, which happens oh, to be Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Game. Whoa, that's a lot Are of you attack. Dead? No, I'm not going to die. It'll hurt. He's I'm almost not, dead. Not dead yet. Damn. Didn't manage to kill the Bane not either. Dead yet. Yeah, now the Bane survived that. <sighs> All right, fine. Let's try this again. Oh, I can't afford the card. <laughs> okay. I was gonna heal. I was gonna heal myself, but you know what? No. No way, man. See how this All goes. Right, round two. It only needs two attack that that Magin can't defend from. Again, you can and both have... die. Yes. The order well, of the killers doesn't, doesn't matter. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yes, they are both dead. <laughs> we don't need no sneaking defense. <laughs> Rip. Three overkill. So, Being alive is overrated, what will happen here is Magin's going to gain a prestige, then lose a prestige for dying, and yep. gain a rot for being killed by a bane. Yep. So, in total, that was a net loss, more or less. Well, unless he wants to be rotten. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That is a tactic. Maybe. Okay. I tried to explain this last week, that it is a tactic to get yourself killed a lot by banes just to get corrupted. But they didn't it indeed. It. I see you looking for those trickery cards. <laughs> ah, glorious trickery. Hey, Shen, you know who we need to kill next. Shut I your do. filthy mouths. He's got one <laughs> HP, too. Yeah. No, no, exactly. no, no, no. You are completely I... mistaken, like it says. I'm All I have the to do is trip over the marsh, and we're good. Very, very embodiment of good health right now. Oh, by the way, if you're uh, sitting on top of the mountain, you get an extra shield in battle. Start. That is yep. true. But it also takes two action points to get to the mountain. Yep. Yeah. Unless you have the boots. There are boots that let you go through mountains and marshes without getting hurt or yes. losing extra action points. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, if you can get to these uh, stone circles, you will actually regain one health yep. each time you go there. Shen is unfortunately stood on one. So I'm going to have to go through Shen. Oh, no. He is, he's conveniently moved. I am pleased. For the settlement that, you know, was just left there. Oh, by the way, oh, um, there is, for the peril cards, uh, the more settlements you have reduces the cost of peril cards. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I does think any, you need multiples. Does, like, the, um, does the log keep track of what my random stat growth was? I have a card the alchemist that gives me plus one to random stat and it changes every turn yes. i don't see any indication on what stat got grow got growth is there a little uh glowy like on the bottom left corner of the screen is one of them glowy nope sort of thing nope uh, maybe you just have to pay attention i'm not paying attention <laughs> <laughs> i like that i approve in fact okay. oh amp what I would like to suggest is come the next day when the kind of proclamation from the king is played, we wrap the recording up there. So it's just noticing the time. Okay. Yep. You don't want to just cut, cut Marbury off right in the middle of his turn? No. That would be me. Oh. My turn will be quick. Oh, another stone. Oh, nice. He's got two stones. Wow, nice. okay. No, <laughs> that is not okay. Oh, I don't have two stones. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> you guys are clearly mistaken. <laughs> My goodness. Cheaty McCheats a lot over there. Mm -hmm. uh, just, to, just to let you guys know, Marbazir won our last game, yes. so he's not allowed to win this time. By cheating. Yeah, cheating. Exactly. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Total cheat effect. All right, so okay. we're actually shy by like... 30 seconds. Let me see. I'll uh, quickly grab the proclamation, then we can wrap this up. All right, tell us what they are. Yeah. I want to hear. Where are they? What is it? What is it? Read them to us. Come on now. Uh, this one. Private security. The king hires mercenaries to bolster his control of the settlements across the kingdom. What does that do? 
Uh, he drops the hired mercenaries to bolster his control of settlements across the kingdom. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I love that. Let me just read that out. <laughs> <laughs> Even the robot agrees hey, that you was the idea. Oh, cool. So the king's dudes are attacking. Oh, there we the, go. The so, uh, Mob, I yep. think uh, on your turn. Actually, good timing. Yeah, okay. This is my turn. But Wrap it up. Uh, Take us out. Yep. Yeah. This is going to be it. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Till next time.